Karantz, do you need something? The first time you saw me, did you really think I was a native? Aside from the way you dress, you resemble a native. I have never seen an Onol Manawi amongst the Rinagze before. Is it so surprising that I made this mistake? No, I understand. And I hope that this singular appearance makes me more attractive to you. Perhaps if your difference wasn't merely physical, but your heart is evidently the heart of a Renaigse. Anything else? I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. How are you feeling? Unwell. I am angry. And I feel an immense void within me. I blame myself for not having been on this battlefield with her. I understand. My mother had the Malachor, and yet I had to leave her behind as she was at death's door. I can't help thinking that I should have stayed by her side, just like you. And you could not have done anything to save her, either. Thank you, Onol Manawi. Your words alleviate my sorrow. Anything else? Do you have anyone, a friend, perhaps, whom you could talk to in this trying time? I usually confide in my sister, but she's suffering too. And I think she resents me for not having been there when our mother needed me. I know we've only known each other for a little while. But if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. Thank you, Anal Manawi. You are a good person. And I'm glad that you are my friend. Anything else? How did you know that those missionaries were lying? After all, given the situation, your mother could have wanted to form an alliance. I knew my mother well. We were close. She would never have renounced her beliefs to forge an alliance. I think I understand. Your island, your culture, and your faith are so closely tied that you cannot renounce one without renouncing the others. Exactly! The Earth talks to us because we believe in it, in its spirits. Without these beliefs, we would be but empty shells. Our mother would never have wanted that for us. I am happy to see that you understand us so well. Anything else? Why are you and your sister so different? If you're talking about physical differences, they're linked to the fact that Iseld is not on all Manawi. When we were little, we were perfectly identical. But our tempers were always different. What kind of child were you? I suppose I was very curious and studious. I loved when our father taught me the name of some plants and how they could be used. Then you haven't changed. Isn't it out of the same curiosity that you chose to follow me? At first, perhaps. But the more I know you, the more I find other reasons to stay with you. Anything else? What do you intend to do now? Will you become the Donegad of your clan again? I will most likely do it, but not now. I still have a lot to discover by your side. I hope that you do not feel constrained to do so. I would completely understand if you had to go back to your people. You are a noble-hearted woman, and a true Onol Manawi. Do not worry. I'm not staying because I feel constrained to do so, but because I like being with you all. And especially with you. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Karens, I am glad you came to talk to me. I have something to ask you. I'm listening. What do the women on your island do when they really like someone? Everything is so complicated where you come from. In my culture, we do not talk about our feelings. Especially not amongst nobles. 
Marriages are arranged more often than not. <laughs> I knew it. Never mind. I'll do it my way. Your body and your soul are speaking with mine on Almanawi. And if you feel the same way, I would love to spend some time alone with you. I would love that too. Meet me outside my room the next time we're at the house. I will be there. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Anal Manawi, do you still agree to spend some time with me? Of course. I was waiting for this moment. Come. I have never met someone like you, on Almanawi. My heart has never beaten so fast for anyone. What about you? Do you think you are my Menundanem? I hope so. Because I love you too, Siora. Kairto. This is how we say I love you in our language. Koden nes greda komolai. Our two hearts beat together.